one type of switch that's commonly found on air conditioning and refrigeration systems is the pressure switch, which opens and closes its contacts based on the pressure it senses. The high pressure switch is connected to the discharge side of a refrigeration system and opens its contacts if the pressure reaches a higher level than the predetermined set point. Most high pressure switches need to be manually reset once they open their contacts. This helps ensure that the system will not operate under unsafe conditions. The low pressure switch is connected to the suction side of a refrigeration system and opens its contacts when the pressure in the system falls below the predetermined set point. Low pressure controls are often used to disable a refrigeration system if it should lose its refrigerant charge. Just as with any other switch, the voltmeter is a valuable piece of test equipment to have when checking pressure switches. High pressure switches should always have a reading of zero volts across the device unless the system has reached unsafe pressure levels. With the system operating, there should be a reading of zero volts across the low pressure control, indicating that the switch is in the closed position. When the contact on the pressure control is open, there should be a voltage reading across the contacts on the device.